trial for a Provo man accused of pretending to be a doctor and sexually abusing a woman during a bogus medical research study got underway today. Now this comes more than two years after his arrest. ABC 4's Rick Aaron has details tonight from the 4th District Courthouse in American Fork. A jury has now been seated in the trial of 36 year old Borzin Motagian, who is accused of eight felonies, four counts of object rape, two counts of attempted object rape, and two counts of forcible sexual abuse. Prosecutors say that in 2017, the business owner and former Marine placed an ad on Craigslist seeking paid volunteers to test medical catheters for women. They alleged that despite having no medical license or training, Mr. Motagian had one volunteer disrobe, then sexually assaulted her using his hands and objects, even taking photographs during the process. They say on another occasion, a different volunteer became uncomfortable and left before the examination. In an email, Motagian indicated that he's actually the victim and looks forward to setting the record straight during his trial, saying in part, quote, perhaps people's tune will change to actually want to know the truth, see the real evidence and witness the fraud, deceit, prosecutorial misconduct and malice prosecution all to cover up their mistake of arresting me in the first place. Their story was fabricated before knowing who I was or even asking me a single question. He goes on to claim, quote, no one was raped. It truly is an atrocity to see what people do for money and fame. The defendant in an email to me said that there is fraud, there's deceit, and there's malicious prosecution here. Your response? I can't speak to anything that the defendant has said. Again, I just encourage uh, attend the trial and form your own opinions from the evidence that comes out. In the email, Mr. Motagian told me that he is confident that he will be acquitted on all charges. The trial is expected to run through Friday. Reporting in American Fork, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Thank you, Rick. Well